Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Jim Labuda, Golf Performance Coach. Today, I'm gonna to move away from the traditional golf tips and drills that I've been giving that have helped so many of you play better golf. But before I do that, I wanna take a minute and thank all my followers and supporters for all the kind words over the last few months. People aren't always kind to you on social media, but my supporters and followers have far outweighed the haters. So I wanted to express my appreciation to each and every one of you. That being said, I've had a lot of followers and supporters reach out to me and ask me about one of the most controversial topics in all of golf today, and that's the Live Tour. For those of you who don't know about this, the Live Golf Tour is a rival golf tour to the PGA Tour ran by CEO Greg Norman. The name Live represents the Roman numerals for 54, which is what you would shoot in a par 72 course if you birdied every hole. 18 under par and a 72 course equals 54. 54 also represents the number of holes that will be played during a live golf event instead of the traditional 72 holes in a PGA Tour event. So the live golf tour is another golf tour, right? So what? The bottom line is the live golf tour is here and it's here to stay. Despite the fact that there are numerous practical and moral questions about the live golf tour, numerous PGA Tour stars have defected to the live tour because they are attracted to the huge purses, no cut events, and playing 18 holes less than a PGA Tour event. Former stars on the world golf stage, such as Dustin Johnson, Brooks Kepka, Ian Poulter, Henrik Stenson, Graham McDowell, Bryson DeChambeau, and Phil Mickelson have made the decision to join Live Golf. What was their reason, you ask? Well, there's only one reason, and that reason is money. So guys, humor me for a minute. Let's do an exercise. I want you to put yourself in the shoes of David Puig. David was a senior at Arizona State University, the ninth ranked amateur in the world. He gave up his senior year at Arizona State to follow his dream to play professional golf. He signed with the Live Golf Tour in September, having already played in two Live events as an amateur. He played those two events as an amateur, forfeiting any prize money he would have won. David placed 40th in one event, 42nd in the other event, would have won $267,000 in prize money if he would have declared himself as a professional golfer before these events. So let's look at David op David's options. Assuming he has decided to forego his senior year of college golf, David could sign up for the Q School for the Corn Ferry Tour, try to make it through Q School here, or even take a stab at the European Tour Q School. Either way, he has to go through a qualifying school to determine if he has a place to play or a job for the upcoming season. Then along comes Greg Norman and the Live Tour. Greg offers you an opportunity to play professional golf against some of the best players in the world, a tour with no cuts, guaranteed prize money, and you're playing 54 holes instead of 72. And on top of that, now you can even wear shorts during live events. How much more comfortable could you get? David Puig is the second college player to forego his senior year to join Live Golf, following Eugenio Chikara, who left Oklahoma State to join Live Golf. After the first round of this week's Live Golf event in Bangkok, Eugenio is tied for first place after one round, shooting a seven under par 65. You can say what you want about live golf and the political and social issues, but put yourself in the shoes of a 21-year-old collegiate golfer who's been dreaming about competing against the best golfers in the world since they were knee-high on a grasshopper. You have the opportunity to follow your dream, play professional golf against some of the best players in the world. You don't have to worry about missed cuts, not making any money, because in the live tour, there are no cut events. It's all guaranteed money. Not to mention, you probably received a lump sum payment as an incentive to join the Live Tour instead of trying to make it by going through a qualifying school or trying to get sponsors exemptions into events in the hopes of making a cut and earning a paycheck. The Live Tour is a competitor to the PGA Tour, and I think that it's here to stay. The PGA Tour has made a few moves to try and keep the best players in the world playing on their tour. One big announcement was a series of limited field events with no cuts similar to the Live Golf format, along with a new bonus pool for players, which should begin with play in 2024. Will these improvements to the PGA Tour be enough to keep players around and not decide to join Live Golf? We'll have to wait and see, but it's gonna be a tough task when you have the Live Tour throwing obscene amounts of money at these players. Guys are taking this guaranteed money and setting themselves and their families up financially for life. Sure, you could have a few good years on tour, win a few events, and secure your PGA Tour card and have that security. 
However, there are also a number of players who bounce back and forth from the Corn Ferry Tour to the PGA Tour every year who would take the financial security that the Live Tour has to offer in a heartbeat. So the ultimate question is, will the PGA Tour make enough improvements and incentivize players enough to continue to play on their tour? Or, or will more players jump to Live for the guarantees and financial security? Only time will tell us that answer.